Hi, I'm Dee Good, and I'm with Shambhala Mountain Center, and I'm delighted today to be with John Aaron and Janet Salinchis, who in December are teaching the Heart of Mindfulness Retreat. So welcome to you both. Nice to be here. And I'm curious about how the idea for this retreat came up and what people can expect. All right, thank you. Maybe I'll go first. Uh, it's because I've been teaching and leading these silent retreats at Shambhala Mountain Center for quite a few years now. And we usually have a seven day mindfulness retreat in June and one in December. And uh, I'm so excited to have John be co-teaching with me this time. It's the first time we'll be teaching together, but we both are longtime MBSR teachers. We both uh, also teach outside of the MBSR context and we're really looking forward to coming together. And I just wanted to invite you to consider coming to Shambhala Mountain Center, which is really beautiful in the winter. It's a lovely place to do deep practice. And our interest, of course, is supporting deep practice, genuine practice, and some form of delight and heartfulness in this retreat. Mm. Yeah. I've never been to Shambhala Mountain Center, so thank you for the invitation. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being there myself. And uh, um, yeah, these retreats, um, there's something really special about spending five, seven, ten days in, in this kind of silence, guided and supported by experienced teachers. Um, as Janet said, I've been teaching MBSR quite some time, and I also teach Dharma at New York Insight, and, and I'm now doing a lot of training of new MBSR teachers. So it's, it's I love... I love having the opportunity to support this kind of practice and supporting it in a beautiful place. You now it's, it's an ideal scenario, whether you've been on a silent retreat in the past or not, um, you know, you'll find it to be a very special experience, not necessarily easy all the time, but certainly very special. And uh, MBSR, uh, do I need to have had MBSR training? Mm. And what is it? No, no, you don't. You don't need to have mindfulness-based stress reduction training. I think we use that language. I think it's the way John and I have found our way into teaching in a much broader kind of uh, mainstream or universal way, uh, coming both from Dharma backgrounds and so MBSR. It's just indicating that we won't be doing the uh, Buddhist rituals and it's really open to everybody. And especially, I want to say, during this time of COVID, it's so wonderful to be in person. It's so different than doing retreats online. So I just want to emphasize that if you have the time available and interest, yeah, in-person retreat. Yeah, and I w um, just it's, it's open to anybody who's had a certain level of meditation experience. If you've never had any meditation experience, it would be a little hardcore to start with a seven-day retreat. Oh, I know plenty of people who have done that. It's, it's, it's really better to come with some consistency of practice. Although if you've been challenged by gaining consistency of practice, there is nothing better to um, cultivate a consistency of practice than being on retreat for seven days. After you've been on retreat for seven days, your practice will become quite consistent mm. for sure. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like an, a great opportunity to come together and practice and uh, enjoy the land. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so, me too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you soon.